Hello, hello. Welcome back to Wonderful Stays Home Tour. My name is Hong. I'm Brian, and we're here in Fremont in the Enclave community at Mission Falls. We're looking at the Sierra Collection, and we're looking at the Juniper 2 model built by Century Community. It is a two-bedroom, two-and-a-half bath, one-car garage, and a square footage of 1496 The price for this home starts from $840,000. If you're looking for homes in the Bay Area, or if you're looking for interior designs, why don't you just come follow us and take a look at this wonderful home tour. All right, let's go. All right, let's check this out. Juniper 2. This is your patio area. Let's check this out. I like this window on top actually. Instead of all your door that way, just that part. Kinda of cool on your AC and then this also right here. Which is not that bad, right? Because you're not it's not in a bedroom. And here's your park area. Huh. I made this into a, an interesting office too. Ooh, those green paintings are actually really nice. The gold borders on the outside too. Nice. Three door sliding closet. That's pretty cool, actually. It's kind of, oh, yeah, it is wider. An interesting idea, you can put your cable and ethernet cables there. And it goes all the way to this side too. Kind of interesting. Look at Brian. <laughs> Brian got lost. Beautiful houses though. The exterior, really nice. I really do like these paintings on uh, these uh, pictures. Green, white, and gold. Really nice. Kind of nice. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I just went in that room. All right, another elevator. Okay. Closet. Interesting. The room is on that side, but your restroom is. Let me turn on the light. But the restroom is on this side. Is this like a green, gold, and white theme house, or at least picture wise? The tub is really like the old style, huh? Compared to the ones we've seen lately. Um, Self-closing? Yes. Nice. And it doesn't go all the way to the top too. What is this? This is probably the power stuff for the elevator. Which is here. Let's call it real quick and see. Oh, we can put it in here. So this is a smaller garage. Um, it is a one car garage, but this looks like there's a lot of parking space outside. Tankless. Um, your solar power is here, and your uh, breakers are here too. So it's pretty cool. And I like the windows right here. One car garage. We haven't seen a one car before, huh? So if you have more cars, that just means you need to park outside. Hopefully this is nice. Okay. I, I like how each one of them are a slightly different theme, huh? I'll see you upstairs. It's 
furnace and uh, filters right at the bottom. This is a really green theme, huh? It's like a kind of jungle like theme. The kitchen is really nice. Yeah, this is more gray, gray green kind of color. box design on the back. KitchenAid. Fire burner. Microwave on top and your vent stuff right there. The sink is really nice. This is how sink should be. Or this is how wide it should be. It's nice. It feels really nice too. Interesting design for the glass, is it? Huh. I don't know why anyone would want that, but that's pretty interesting. The spots on the glass. Your... Oh, this is cool. Um, looks like there's sliding doors for this, actually, if you guys look. Alright. So these are probably, because they don't put it in, you can probably pull out the door. Washer dryer next to each other, nice. Cabinet space, pretty reachable, not too bad. Another bedroom, right next to the kitchen. At least you know when dinner is ready, huh? This is really nice. I like the green theme. The foresty type of theme. Looks like another master. Whew, can breathe. Really nice. I really like that back. Backing of this is nice. Construction still going on. Oh, long hallway to your, to your toilet. Window on your standing shower, but there's no seating. So soap bottles and stuff, I guess, goes on the window. His and hers. I do like this actually. Here, three levels type of style. Really nice. Pretty cool, huh? I don't know. Is this a master, the master of the house? Yeah. Looks, it, it really feels like it, right? There's only two stories. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, I thought these were three. No, we only have two rooms. So only two rooms? Oh, that's actually pretty interesting. Oh! Got it. The room for the upstairs. Because this is a three-story house. The room upstairs is going to your neighbor. Really nice. A lot of natural light here. Lots of natural light. Nice um, living space area. Really nice that... It's like that. Here's your view. This cabinet space here. Like 
You, you know how that BR Thornton one we just went to? Mm -hmm. They should have filled up the cabin or that nook just like this. This is beautiful. I really like this theme. The wood panels, really nice. Overall, pretty cool, huh? How was the elevator ride? Comfortable? Okay. Okay. Now that we looked through the home, what do you think, home? There's a couple interior design ideas that stands out in this home, such as the ball lights in the kitchen, to the cube patterns in the backsplash of the kitchen as well, and the up and down arrow in the master restroom. All adds a lot of character to this home, especially with the green theme of this house. It's pretty nice. We've seen many TV cabinets before, but this one actually looks really cool and really vast and big. It has a lot of cabinet space and a lot of shelving space and enough space for a big TV. The last thing that's pretty different about this house is that downstairs, the bedroom is separate from the, the restroom. You have to walk around the hallway in order to get to the restroom from the bedroom. It's kind of a nice idea, right? Especially when you're older and you're more established in life and you run a business, it'll be a nice ideal business office. Especially if you have people coming over, the restroom is separate, which is really nice. All right, Brian, what do you think of this home? Uh, what I like about this home is it has an elevator. I really like the elevators in homes. It really cuts out a lot of wear and tear on your knees and your ankles. And also it helps you with bringing laundry up and down. Since this is only a two-story home, it helps out a lot, especially for the person on the bottom floor. I also like how the laundry area is next to the master bedroom, which will make easy access for the person who's doing laundry. Just grab their stuff and just throw it in. The one thing I don't like is the garage. It's only a one car garage. So there's not a lot of stuff you could put in there, but I would have to say this area does seem to have a lot of outside parking. So parking isn't wouldn't be an issue. It's just a storage space. Thank you for joining us on this wonderful stays home tour. We will be looking at the Penthouse 2 in the same collection on Thursday. If you like what you saw, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. We will be seeing you on Thursday. Have a great Great day and see you soon. Peace out.